you is maybe being a little more aggressive, mm -hmm. you know, just having a different mindset. I mean, do you feel that that's something that you need to, to work on this year? Yeah, um, definitely being more physical, um, going to people more, um, and just being more demanding on taking my offensive scores um, rather than holding back. So um, I've been wrestling with Joe Smith a lot in the room, and I think he's helping me get more physical and my hand fighting and, and get to my scores better. So um, definitely something we're working on for sure. How, how did that come about? Wrestling with Joe? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, one day in practice he just said, hey, you're going to go with Joe for the next couple weeks every day. And so that's what we've been doing. Um, he didn't really say why or what, but um, me and Joe drill pretty much every day together and, and we go hard and it's been uh, very beneficial. Is there anything in your, in, in your skill set that you feel that has been improved already with training mm -hmm. against him? Yeah, um, you know, just my timing, my, my reaction time, and then the big thing was just being able to, able to hand fight with a guy like Joe. Um, he's got really heavy hands. He's really physical um, in the ties, and so just being able to hold up with him there and, and um, you know, get, get to leg attacks on him um, is something that I couldn't do when we first started drilling. So um, definitely improved quickly, um, and um, I'm still improving for sure. Who were you? Training with previously before yeah, switching over to Joe. Before um, Blake Schedule, one of our okay. freshmen, yeah. and I and I wrestled Plot as well, okay. too. So both those guys. Yeah. Coming into the season, uh, what, what would you say would be your most like highly anticipated duel? Like where do you, where do you, what are you most excited for coming into the season? Um, definitely the Iowa duel. Uh, I think that would be a pretty common answer. <laughs> um, you know, just because it's going to be uh, a great atmosphere. It's going to be electric. Um, be tons of fans. It's going to be awesome. I've never wrestled in front of that many people, um, so it's going to be probably a new record for me of wrestling in that big of a stadium and that many people. So um, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an experience that a lot of us have never experienced before. So um, you know, it's going to be exciting. I know it's still a bit of a trek from your hometown, but is anybody going to try to get down to Stanford besides your dad? With it being uh, on the, the yeah, coast? My, my mom's coming too. So okay. Both of them coming, so they'll come down. And, it's only actually an eight-hour drive, okay. so they're both driving, so it'll be fairly quick, not too bad. Has your mom made it to one of your, your college matches yeah. yet? Or yeah, okay. yeah, she has. Okay. Yeah, she has, but um, yeah, they'll be, both be there, so okay. it'll be fun. John was asked what you could do to pick it up a notch to get even better, and he got pretty emphatic about uh, just being more vicious, I think was mm -hmm. the word. How much has he had that conversation with you? Um, he definitely, um, you know, lets me know about it in, in the practice room. Not, not directly, but um, he'll make comments during my drill. Um, just basically tips, um, you know, whether it's telling me to move forward um, instead of circling or moving backwards. Um, you know, he'll tell me to move forward, uh, use my hands more, uh, change levels more, just being more present in, in uh, my opponent's face, you know. And so... Um, basically just putting wear and tear on the guy. So it's mostly little comments like that that he, you know, reiterates in my brain throughout the practice to, to keep that there. Have any of the newcomers from around the room stood out to you so far? Um, Victor has a lot. Um, Victor's been doing good. He's been wrestling tough in the room. Um, been doing really well. Uh, anytime I get a chance or I'm on a little break or whatever in the, in the practice, I'm usually watching Victor. Um, and so, and he's been... He's been getting some uh, success, but he's wrestling with Caden Gefeller and, and um, White Sheets a lot too, so those are tough guys in the room. So um, it's good for those guys to be around his weight so that uh, he'll be ready next year when it's time for him to step in. You mentioned Dustin and now just Wyatt. Obviously mm -hmm. both of them dealt with injuries during the NCAAs last year. How have you seen them coming back from that and, and how they've looked so far in the, in the wrestling room? Yeah, um, you know, I think they're excited. I think they're excited. I think they're um, glad to be healthy, um, you know, especially like Wyatt. He was almost wrestling on one leg all year, it yeah. seemed like. You know, he was, he was struggling last year. Um, you know, I even he had that big leg brace on and everything. And, um, you know, he, I'm his roommate, and so, he, you know, he made comments to me that his knee would still slip inside the brace. Um, and so... Um, you know, just to see him healthy again and, and being confident in, um, in his, basically in his whole um, style is, is good to see. Um, and I see it in the room. 
especially with Dusty too. I think they're both really excited. They're enthusiastic about the season, and and uh, you know they're just ready to be able to wrestle with two legs again. With with being Wyatt's roommate, that had to be pretty special for you to see what happened to him at the end of last year of being on the outside, mm -hmm. getting in, and then the, the run to all American status. Yeah. yeah, no, I was super proud of Wyatt. It was um, that was pretty amazing. Um, you know, it was uh, it was good for his family. Um, it's good for him. Good for Wyatt's confidence, especially after the season that he had and the injury that he had. Um, you know, it just it just makes you wonder what can he do now. You know, what's he gonna do this year? Um, I think there's big things coming for Wyatt. Is, I mean, is that a conversation you've had with him? Of man, what can you do with two good legs? If you can if you can finish top eight with one good yeah. leg, yeah. What, what can you do with two? Yeah, yeah. No, um, you know, we talked about it, and you know, I, like I said, I think he's he's confident, he's ready. Um, he's. Um, He's going to play shot. He's going to be up there on the podium.